Okay, let's take some derivatives. So, let's start with the one on the left here. So, basically derivatives with natural log is just going to be a bunch of chain rule. So, let's start with the outside and work our way in. So, what is the derivative of the outside here? Derivative of sine is cosine. So, cosine of the inside times derivative of the inside. What's the derivative of the inside? 7. And derivative of natural log is 1 over x. And that is literally the answer. I mean, we can clean it up, though. We have 7 cosine of 7 ln of x over x. And that is the derivative there. Remember, just a bunch of chain rule. If you're not good at chain rule, this stuff's going to be tough. So remember, chain rule is derivative of the outside times derivative of the inside, and you just work your way inward and inward, or outward and outward, whichever way you start. So the one on the right here, f prime of x equals derivative of the outside is, since we have the natural log here, it's going to be 1 over the inside. So 1 over 36 sine squared x. Okay, so there's that derivative times the derivative of the inside. So we got the 36, just a constant. So you know what? Let me slap that over here just to make things pretty. And then we have, what's the derivative of sine squared x? That's even more chain rule. So we have sine squared x is the same as sine of x squared. So we need to do our outside derivative first. So it's going to be 2 times the inside. So sine x. And then, finally, our innermost derivative, derivative of sine is cosine. And that is our answer. So those go away. That's nice. So we have 2 sine x cosine x over sine squared x. And then, if we break this up into 2 sine x cosine x, and we turn our sine squared into sine x, sine x, because I mean that's the same thing. That factor goes away, and we have 2 times cosine over sine. And if we remember, that's cotangent. So 2 cotangent x is our answer here.